Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Pareto chart using Python. Um, my definition for a Pareto chart is the one that is also shown here. Uh, they vary a little bit, but for me this is what a Pareto chart looks like in its nicest form. Uh, feel free to use another definition, but this is what I'm going to explain on how to create. Um, to do that, uh, I'll need some example data. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, which I'm going to be loading in using pandas, so I'm going to import pandas as pd. If you've never used pandas before, you can use pip install pandas to actually install it once, and then you only need to import it ever after if you need to use it. Read CSV is to uh, load a CSV file. Uh, my file is gss2012a. It's some data from a general social survey, and I adjusted it slightly just for the examples. And the head command will then show me the first five records. That way I know at least something got important and it looks kind of okay. Um, I'll use the marital status as uh, for the example, which was uh, labeled mar1. So I'm going to just select that as my field. And now my field will be that marital status. I can create a frequency table. I have a separate video on explaining all of this code, but this nicely generates a frequency table showing me the percentages and the frequencies. So, for example, there were 314 people who were indicated to be divorced, which corresponds to about 16%. Now, for a Pareto chart, this will need to be actually sorted. So, it's already sorted based on the frequency, as you can see, but just to make sure that that will happen, is you can do a sort values in this case by frequency, and then set ascending to false. I also like to reset the index then, so that the numbers in front will go from 0 to 4 again, rather than the original one. So here is my exactly the same, uh, because the order didn't really change, because it was already sorted. But uh, you might have to do that. In order to also add the archive, I need the cumulative percentages. So what I can do is um, my frequency table, add the cu cumulative percent, which will be the cumulative sum of the frequencies, and then divide by uh, the total of all frequencies, multiplied by 100 to get a percentage, and this gives me my cumulative percentages. I have a separate video on this, on how to create a table like this one. Now for the visualization I'll use pyplot so I'll need to import matplotlib um, if you again if you've never used that before you probably have to do a pip install matplotlib a bar chart would be fairly simple I just use uh, pyplot's bar command with marital status the mar1 uh, the frequencies for the heights and my data is now that frequency table so I have a nice decent bar chart the archive is the same, but then it's a regular plot, so it creates a line then usually um, with the cumulative percent. Uh, I like to use some markers as a um, little circle, and let's give it a different color, red. So this is the archive. I want these both to be in the same plot, so I could simply put them in the same plot, like I'm doing here. But you might notice then, uh, because it's using this one vertical axis for both, and the counts go up to almost a thousand, while the percentages will of course only go up to a hundred. So it might be better to have two vertical axes, one for the frequencies and one for the ogive. So what you can do is have a twin axis, um, and by doing this I now actually have one for the uh, frequencies and one for the percentages. It might be good to actually add labels for clarification, so the horizontal axis gets labeled marital status. Um, the first Y label is going to be uh, the percentages, uh, and the other one, actually this should be frequency, frequency, and the other one is going to be labeled cumulative percent, so the uh, first Y label is the frequency, and the second for axis 2 is cumulative percent. Now, I also want them both to start at 0, so that's why I added the Y limit should be 0. And now I have my final nice looking diagram. Uh, I put all of these steps in just one large function that takes data frame as an input and the field label as uh, a second parameter. 
uh, these are just the commands from just above and now I can use Pareto and then tell it which field to use and I have a nice Pareto chart all right um, I think that was it I uh, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching